I believe this might be better than Autogen. Taskweaver is a new library by the Microsoft team, which has been creating projects and launching projects so fast in the last few months. But now Taskweaver is a new and exciting project that I believe might be even more interesting than Autogen. I'm sure that they will work somewhat together. It's a code first agent framework for seamlessly planning and executing data analytic tasks. Basically, as far as I see it, it's like an agent, but with focus on delivering and creating code. As you can see here in the GitHub repository, they specify what exactly are the features of Taskweaver. I won't go over this. The goal of this uh, short video is mainly to show you what Taskweaver has achieved for me after I requested it to do a simple task, somewhat of a, t of a simple task, which is also one of the tasks that they are using in their demo. A few guidelines regarding the installation. So the installation is very fast and, f and, and straightforward. And it is also written over here in the GitHub repository. You just git clone this repository. You enter the directory cd taskweaver, pip install the requirements. Then you can create an environment. I suggest creating a new conda environment. So conda create dash n uh, and then the name of your environment. Then you can activate the environment and then you probably better to enter the Visual Studio code. So click code dot, and then you enter the Visual Studio code and you can decide whether or not you want to um, add your LLM API keys over here, or if you want to set them via the CLI, via the terminal. After you did this, uh, added your API keys, chose the LLM model, the next step would actually be to start running the pro the, the project. So it's Python dash M taskweaver dash P and then project. And this starts out like this. So taskweaver is going to say, I am taskweaver, an AI assistant to get started. Could you please tell me your request? So I went ahead and told him, I want you to focus QQQ's price in the next week using Arima. Arima is a statistical model. And by the way, in order to do this demonstration, I had to install two more Python libraries. One is YFinance, which is a library that allows us to pull data from Yahoo. And the other one was stats model. It's not relevant for you because it's, uh, I mean, it is relevant for you if you want to do this demo on your own, but you can get from the GitHub repository anyway. And now uh, what started happening is basically Taskweaver started planning the next step. So obtain historical price for QQQ. This is the first step. Other, the next step is confirm the date, the date range for the historical data. The next step would be load and pre-process the data. So it breaks down the process into very small chunks. Then it started just speaking uh, with itself and iterating. The next step would, was he asked me, do we have the historical price, historical data for the pricing? So I said, we don't have it in our system. So we kind of went about, um, okay, so we need to use an online API to obtain the historical data. You can see here that he's uh, th thinking. Um, we need to use an online API to obtain the historical data for the ETF symbol QQQ. Since the user has not specified which API to use, I didn't specify which API to use. He decided to choose a commonly used financial data API such as Yahoo Finance. So you can see it does somewhat of reasoning and thinking behind the scenes. Then you can see over here it already started to generate code. It also executed the code, iterating again and again and again. 
over here you can already see he's starting to gather some results and eventually Taskweaver wrote to me the Arima model has been trained and the forecast for QQQ's price for next week is as follows so it gave me a forecast I was very happy about it so I told him this is great with a spelling mistake and I asked it to write another code that will predict the price in the next month basically same iteration as you can see I didn't do anything it just started running and generating code and executing the code on its on its own and then it created the final prediction the Arima model has been adjusted and the forecast for QQQ's price for the next month is as follows and it gave me a forecast which is amazing and at that point I aborted the execution I think that's it for today guys I immediately after launching this video I'm going to record another video in which I'm trying to run this locally with a local LLM I'm very excited about this code because I believe this will work this this will complement autogen or they might take over i'm not sure exactly how microsoft is planning to to combine these projects but i feel and i believe that this is a great addition and this is a very powerful tool you see how you saw how fast it generated this prediction which would probably take me i don't even know how to do it but if i would have wanted to do it it would probably take me a long time so this is very exciting and I believe it makes a lot of sense to stay tuned regarding what are uh, Taskweaver, the use cases of Taskweaver and how it's going to be different from Autogen. If you have any questions regarding the installation of Taskweaver, which I didn't completely cover in this video because I believe it's pretty straightforward, just let me know in the comment section and I'd be happy to provide more detailed advice regarding the installation. And as always, if you have any questions regarding e-commerce, automations, AI, leave them in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, I invite you to subscribe, like, and share it with your friends. Until next time, guys, take care.